day today, the 7th of October, and I thought I would do just a little bit of vlogging because it's actually quite an exciting day. Um, it's my hen's party today, and Tom also has his bucks party. So I thought it would be fun. I'm in a really happy, cheerful mood, as you can probably tell, <laughs> and I thought it would be fun just to be able to look back on this day, just record this really happy, exciting time in our lives. Um, it's all a bit of a surprise really what's happening. The bridesmaids have been very secretive and wanting to keep it a big surprise. I'm getting picked up at 1.30 apparently and Tom's getting picked up about 12. Um, so we've got a couple of hours just to hang out and have a nice chilled morning. Um, I tried sleeping in this morning because I'm a granny and I'm usually in bed by like 9.30 the latest um, <laughs> but um, you know and I wanted to have a good sleep in so I could stay up for you know the whole night <laughs> and that didn't work I got up about 6 30 and I was just too excited to sleep basically I just had too many things on my mind and too many things I wanted to get done and yeah anyway I'm talking really fast it's 9 30 at the moment and Tom and I are about to go head out and have some brunch um, before he, uh, he gets picked up ready to go Tom Tom yeah He's been very patiently waiting for me, but I don't think you mind, do you? Because you're getting to play your games. <laughs> Mine was a bit like average. I had avocado and tomatoes and better on toast, but they like twisted it after they put the avocado on, which, yeah. But anyway. So I stopped to take a photo. This is what usually happens. I stop to take a photo and Tom just keeps walking, which is fine. But now, Every time I run to catch up, he is uh, running away from me. <sighs> so Tom's about to head off. You excited? Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't really know what's going on, but I know what's happening. <laughs> really? I do. A little bit of it anyway. Have fun. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> so Tom has just been picked up and I've got about an hour and a half to get ready now. Um, and I'm just putting together um, a few things. So the first part of um, the party, apparently the dress code was pretty and nice. <laughs> so um, I've actually got this really pretty Zimmerman um, jumpsuit which is new. I've bought it in Sydney and I think it's just such a beautiful beautiful fabric. Um, I'll show it to you on if I have time afterwards. Um, but yeah, so that's the first part. But then for the second part, I was also told um, I needed to come up with something a little bit um, 1920s sort of costume. And that made me really, really excited because I just love anything 1920s. Um, I actually have a like pretty much like solid 1920s outfit, which I have worn a couple of times, but um, it's actually white. And so I'm gonna pull it out again. So this is what I'm going to be bringing, this is my costume for later on tonight. Um, I've got this beautiful sequin top, this was from um, Forever New, I've had it for years and it's actually, I usually just wear it with this costume to be honest but it looks amazing just with jeans as well but I just think these sequins are so beautiful and it's just really, it has that sort of 1920s inspired look to it. This um, looks like a skirt but it's actually a dress, this was from French Connection, it just looks kind of cute layered over the top of it. I've just got the sort of long necklace, which is a bit of fun, and this headpiece from Mimco, um, which is quite really pretty actually, and perfect to sort of wear across your forehead. And then I've just got a couple of like fun jewellery items just to add a little bit of glam. Um, and then this is actually another top I had, and I thought I'd bring it because my friend was saying that she wasn't sure if she had something to wear, so I thought I'd bring that along and she can try it on. Um, and then. I have this like penchant for, um, is that the word penchant? Whatever, I'm attracted to very sparkly things. I'm basically a magpie. And um, I have all these like headbands, sparkly headbands and sparkly necklaces. And I've got way more actually in this little pouch here. Um, but I thought I'd just bring them along anyway because uh, apparently we're all getting ready together. And I was like, oh, if people, you know, if other people need things, then they can have fun with that. So yeah, that's um, my outfit for tonight. But um, I better go and get ready now and get my makeup on. And um, yeah, because I'm getting picked up in a little bit. So 
Em's come to pick me up. This is Emily, my maid of honor. We've Hi. Been, we've been best friends <laughs> since like year one. And she's like, what do I do in the vlog? I'm like, just say hi. Let's <laughs> talk this. So we're on our way to, oh, it's part one. Part one. Part one. And apparently Em has a bunch of stuff in the car because there's, she has to go straight to part two. It's all very mysterious. <laughs> Except not. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite mysterious. They dropped me home and told me to just chill for a little bit while they were get everything, getting everything sorted. <laughs> They've gone to so much effort. But you don't know where you're going. I don't know where I'm going, but I have a suspicion. <laughs> uh, yeah. Basically, we're going back to my parents' house. <laughs> you don't know that <laughs> The for party sure. house. You, well, we may or may not be. <laughs> it's quite appropriate, I feel like, because our house was always the party house at uni. Everyone used to come over and party at our place. <laughs> Apparently the boys, um, they went go-karting and then they went for lunch and now they're going back to Tom's parents' place and they've set up a whole bunch of um, playstations and they've got multiple screens and all sorts of things <laughs> and they're going to have like a LAN or something like that. A what? A LAN? It's a LAN where they bring, like, I don't know if that's what they're doing but they bring all their computers and connect them up, it's like local area network. Tom's They're very thing nerdy. to do. It sounds perfect for Tom. Tom's um, only requirements, like his request for his Bucks party involved, good beer, good sausages, and hanging out playing games. <laughs> so he's easily pleased. <laughs> anyway, see ya. Gemma looks very nice too and basically they like know me very well like what could be better than like sparkly 1920s thing we're getting ready together 
come from many places, including Japan, but there's some from my Simplicity, classic, uh, Greek goddess kind of style, understated but also some, somehow overstated with the five bows. <laughs> got a bow here, got a bow at the back, you've got a beautiful veil. Do <laughs> <laughs> you describe Tom in three words? Um, cute. Um, dimples. <laughs> yeah. Intelligent and kind. It's the next morning now and I just had the most amazing, amazing hand party. My bridesmaids totally acted themselves. Um, I basically had no expectations of what we we're going to do or what was what was happening or anything really. And they just totally, I don't know, they just put in so much effort and they just made it really, really special. Um, so the first part, we went to a place called Rochelle Adonis Cakes. I believe it was called and we went for high tea um, it was a beautiful beautiful place and it was all set out really nice they had really cute little sandwiches and cakes um, and it was just really lovely um, and then that part went pretty quickly actually um, and then what happened was they my mum dropped me home at my house um, while the bridesmaids went off to do secret things <laughs> and then came and picked me up about an hour later or so and um, we ended up going back to my parents' place actually, which I thought was quite appropriate because that was always the party house when we went to uni. Not like super party, we were never really that wild, but you know, we'd always hang out there and um, everyone would always come to our place to catch up and do things or um, before going clubbing or that kind of thing. And then, um, so I got there and they were just like, you have to go upstairs, Lauren. You can't look at anything that's happening. Um, just go upstairs and get changed. So that's what we did. And then we all got, got dressed and everything. Um, and I came down and they had decorated the whole downstairs um, 
like living room area. They'd push all the chairs aside and um, they just decorated it beautifully. They had this amazing spread of food. They had like a hooray sign, um, these beautiful like paper flowers and like candles. And um, then they did this like peg up um, the Polaroid photos and like write a card to the bride kind of thing. Um, yeah, and it was just it was just so lovely and special and I just wasn't expecting it at all. And then, um, like, it just kept coming and coming. Um, this lady showed up to, uh, it was like 1920s. She did my hair in like a 1920s inspired style. And then we learned a little bit of Charles, the Charleston dance, which was really fun. Um, it felt a bit unco, but it was really, really good fun. Um, and then I thought we were just going to hang out afterwards. But my bridesmaid had organised all these games. Um, we had like a bridal Pictionary game. My favourite one was when um, they had a video of Tom actually, which they'd taken like last week and they'd asked him a bunch of questions. And so they'd asked me the question, I had to answer, and um, we saw if he got like the right answer. It was, um, it was kind of crazy and apparently we know each other pretty well because he did pretty well with the questions. Yeah, so I basically just had a really, really amazing, amazing time and I just feel so lucky. Um, like, my bridesmaids, seriously, they put in they put in so much work and, I don't know, I just feel very, very loved at the moment. I didn't actually think that I wanted, like, some sort of bridal tiara or sash or anything like that, but they had this, like, sitting on my chair when uh, we got to the high tea place and... I don't know why, but I really love this crown. It just says bride to be, and um, they got me a sash as well, and it was just kind of fun to wear. I'm not someone who is usually into that kind of thing, but it was just, it was fun. I think my mum actually got this um, last year when they were in the US. She said she bought it, bought it and brought it home and just had it hiding away um, for a year. Um, yeah, and it was so nice. My mum seemed to really, like, and be really happy as well, and she, like, seemed to enjoy it. So yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I think it's, I'm really glad I vlogged actually because I think it'll be so nice to be able to look back on this. There's so much fun stuff going on at the moment. Cannot believe it's five weeks until the wedding. Um, yeah, that it's just crazy how fast the time is going now, even though it feels like it has been a long, long time coming. Um, and yeah, I'm just so excited for it to be here and to marry Tom and oh, I'm getting all gushy now. So I'm going to stop. But yeah, see you next time.